I think for me, the most memorable experience um, was when A Boys to Men 2 just came out. We did a promo at Boogies Plus and 3,000 plus fans came down for us. We did a show and then we signed autographs. So um, we decided that we want to sign autographs for everyone. So we stayed at Boogies Plus for almost three hours signing autographs and taking photos with every single fan. And throughout the entire three hours, right, they never stopped screaming and like shouting our names and encouraging us. So that was a really like a wow moment because um, our first fan meet for Abosh to Men, before the film came out, we had five people at our road show. And then when Abosh Men 2 came out, we had 3,000 just, you know, supporting us and, and being there for us. So that's really crazy. Lah. And uh, probably the most memorable one. <laughs> see, can't you see? So anyway, um, next question. <laughs> I took on too many jobs before I was an actor. Um, I used to be a waiter, a bookshop, um, salesman. I, I gave people surveys to fill up. So I had a, a, a myriad of um, jobs before I started acting. But something interesting is that also um, immediately after I OID, like three, three days to a week after I OID was when I started filming so it was non-stop for me, like non-stop army. But I enjoy it and I'm really, really happy nonetheless. I did have an aha moment when I did my first leng xiao hua on my friend. Yeah, so I realized that maybe telling lame jokes could be my hidden talent. Shall I try? Shall I try? Okay, okay. So first off, um, how much does a polar bear weigh? Nothing? Enough to break the ice. <laughs> Okay, okay, one more, one more, one more. Please, one more, please, please, let me tell one more. Which are the strongest days of the week? You know, in one week, which are the strongest days? No idea? Saturdays and Sundays. Do you know why? Because the rest are weekdays. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! See, see that, that may be my aha moments. Like, hey, Josh, maybe you could be a lame joke stir or something. I don't know. Best piece of advice I ever got was, I can't remember who, but the person told me to stay humble, always keep your family close and listen to them. And I think my, my parents always give me the best advice and they always have my interest at heart. So they have no reason to lie to me. Um, although sometimes my mom can be a bit too supportive, like even if I do a rubbish job, she thinks, oh yeah, yeah, you did great, you did great. But sometimes you wanna, when you want to hear hard truths, your parents are the ones who give you that. Thank you for flying with me, I'm Joshua San.